Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang optimization problems or problems involving minima and maxima. So, isa na ito sa mga applications or real-life applications of the derivative. So, sa lesson na ito, magpo-focus tayo sa number relation problems and some geometric relation problems on plane geometry. Example number one. What is the maximum product of two numbers whose sum is 24? Step 1. Represent the quantities as variables. Let x be the first number, 24 minus x be the second number, and p be the product. So, bakit tayo nagkaroon dito ng 24 minus x? Dahil kung ang first number natin ay x at dahil ang sum nila ay 24, then the second number is 24 minus x na i-minus lamang natin yung unang number sa kanilang sum. Next one is formulate the equation. Kailangan ang equation na ma-formulate natin ay naroon yung variable na ating i-optimize. Ano ibig sabihin ng optimize? Ito yung ating i-minimize or maximize. Since product ang ating i-maximize, so dapat present sa ating equation yung p. At dapat naka-express siya as a function of a single variable. So, the product of the two numbers is equal to x times the quantity 4 minus x. Ito yung ating two numbers. Step number 3, differentiate the variable to be optimized. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, yung ating product ang i-maximize natin. So, kukunin natin ang derivative of p with respect to x. So, we have p is equal to x times 24 minus x. So, instead of using product rule, gumamit ako rito ng distributive property. So, it will become p is equal to 24x minus x square. Then, we have derivative of p with respect to x is equal to 24 minus 2x. And then, after that, we equate the derivative to 0 and solve. So, this is the application of critical points. So, 24 minus 2x is equal to 0. Then, we have 24 is equal to 2x. Nilipat yung negative 2x. Then, divide both sides by 2. 12 is equal to x. So, that is the first number. Next, number 5, answer the problem. Since ang question ay maximum product and x is equal to 12 is the first number, the other number is 24 minus x is equal to 24 minus 12 is equal to 12. So, ibig sabihin, pareho ang dalawang number. Therefore, the maximum product is 12 times 12 is equal to 12. Let's have the next example. Find the two numbers whose difference is 8 such that the product is a minimum. So, dito ay product pa rin ang variable nating i-optimize. So, in this problem, i-minimize naman natin siya. So, step 1, represent the quantities as variables. Let x be the first number. At dahil ang difference nila ay 8, then x plus 8 be the second number. Okay? And p be the product. Step number 2, formulate the equation. So, dapat naroon ang ating p at naka-express siya as a single variable. So, p is equal to x, the first number, and x plus 8 is the second number. Step number 3, differentiate the variable to be optimized. So, P ang ating i-optimize or this time, i-minimize naman natin siya. So, P is equal to X times the quantity X plus 8. Then, P is equal to X square plus 8X by distributive property. Then, derivative of P with respect to X is equal to 2X plus 8. Then, step number 4, equate the derivative to 0 and solve. 2X plus 8 is equal to 0. 2X is equal to negative 8 and X is equal to negative 4. So, ito yung ating first number. And then, for the last step, answer the problem. Ang, so, ang tinatanong sa problem natin ay yung two numbers na makapagbibigay ng minimum product. So, since the first number is negative 4, the other number is x plus 8 is equal to negative 4 plus 8 is equal to 4. Therefore, the two numbers that will give the minimum product are negative 4 and 4. Let's now proceed to geometric relations problem. What is the maximum area of a rectangle whose perimeter is 50 units? Kapag ang problem na natin ay geometric relations, mahalagang tandaan na makakatulong sa atin ang pagdodrawing ng figure. 
step 1 represent the quantities as variables. Let x and y be the adjacent sides of the rectangle and a be the area of the rectangle. So, ang ating variable dito na i-optimize ay yung area. Kasi nga, maximum area. So, sa ating illustration, meron tayong adjacent sides. So, we have x and y. So, formulate the equation. Dito, magkakaroon tayo ng primary equation at secondary equation. Ano pinagkaiba ng dalawa? Ang primary equation ay naroon yung variable na ating i-optimize. So, ang ating i-optimize ay yung area. So, area is equal to xy. Kasi nga, siya ay rectangle. Okay? Next, ang ating secondary equation, ito yung ating makakatulong para ma-express natin yung primary equation as a single variable. Dahil sa ating primary equation, mayroon tayong two variables. Dapat ay isang variable lamang. Paano iyan? Gagamitin natin yung given. So, meron tayong perimeter na 50 units. So, we have P is equal to 2 times the quantity X plus Y. Okay? So, 50 is the perimeter is equal to 2 times the quantity X plus Y. Divide both sides by 2. 25 is equal to X plus Y. Step 3, ito yung nadagdag dahil ang ating primary equation ay naka-express as a function of two variables. So, kailangan natin siyang i-express as a single variable. Ang variable na i-optimize natin dito ay yung area. So, a is equal to xy, then we have 25 is equal to x plus y, ito yung galing sa ating secondary equation, then y is equal to 25 minus x. By substitution, a is equal to x times 25 minus x, pinalitan natin yung y ng 25 minus x, then a is equal to 25x minus x square. As you can see, ang ating primary equation ay naka-express na as a function of a single variable. For the next step, differentiate the variable to be optimized. So we have a is equal to 25x minus x square, then derivative of a with respect to x is equal to 25 minus 2x. Next, equate the derivative to 0 and solve. 25 minus 2x is equal to 0, 25 is equal to 2x, then 12.5 is equal to x. Last step, answer the problem. Since x is equal to 12.5, ito yung ating isang side, then y is equal to 25 minus x is equal to 25 minus 12.5 is equal to 12.5. Hence, the dimensions of the rectangle are 12.5 by 12.5 units. Since ang tinatanong sa atin ay maximum area, imumultiply lang natin ang 12.5 times 12.5 which is equal to 156.25 square units. Let's proceed to example number 4. A rectangular field is to be enclosed by a fence divided into three lots by fences parallel to one of the sides. Find the dimensions of the largest field that can be enclosed by 800 meters of fencing. Step 1. Represent the quantities as variables. Since this is a geometric relation problem, i-drawing natin yung figure. So we have the rectangular field na hinati sa tatlong lots. Okay, hinati siya. 1, 2, and 3. Then, let x and y be the adjacent sides of the rectangle. Okay, so we have x, 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 and x. Kasi nga, yung mga fences ay parallel sa isang side. Okay, tapos itong y naman ay itong isang adjacent side. Number 2, formulate the equation. So, we have a is equal to xy, yung area ang ating maximize, which is equal to the product of the sides. Okay, itong x at saka y. Then, Mayroon tayong secondary equation na gagamitin para ma-express yung a as a single variable. So, the perimeter is equal to 4x plus 2y. Bakit 4x? Kasi mayroon tayo rito 1, 2, 3, 4 na x. Dalawa ang ating y kasi mayroon tayong y dito at isa rito. Okay? Then, we have 800 is equal to 2 times the quantity 2x plus 2y. Then divide both sides by 2, then 400 is equal to 2x plus y. Step number 3, express the variable to be optimized in terms of a single variable. Since area is expressed as a function of two variables, kailangan express natin siya as a function of a single variable lamang. So gagamitin natin dito yung secondary equation natin kanina. So y is equal to 400 minus 2x, nilipat ko lang yung 2x dito sa left side. And then palitan natin yung y 
ng 400 minus 2x from xy. So, a is equal to x times 400 minus 2x, then a is equal to 400x minus 2x square. Next, step number 4, differentiate the variable to be optimized. Area ang ating i-optimize, kaya i-differentiate natin siya in terms of x. So, a is equal to 400x minus 2x square, then dA over dx is equal to 400 minus 4x. The fifth step, equate the derivative to 0 and solve. 400 minus 4x is equal to 0, 400 is equal to 4x, then divide both sides by 4, x is equal to 100. The last step, you have to answer the problem. So, since x is equal to 100, kukunin natin yung adjacent side niya which is y. So, then y is equal to 400 minus 2x is equal to 400 minus 2 times 100 is equal to 200. Ano ba ang tanong sa problem? Hinahanap yung dimensions ng largest field that can be enclosed by 800 meters of fencing. So, therefore, the dimensions of the field with the maximum area is 100 by 200 Meters. So, yung 200 yung length, 100 naman yung width. Last, example number 5. A triangular corner lot has perpendicular sides of length 120 feet and 160 feet. Find the area of the largest rectangular building that can be constructed on the lot with sides parallel to the streets. I-drawing muna natin para ma-visualize natin ang problem. Let x and y be the adjacent sides of the rectangular building and a be the area of that rectangular building. So, meron tayo ritong uh, triangular corner lot at ito yung ating rectangular building na i-co-construct kung saan ang sides niya ay parallel to the streets. So, ito yung ating street kasi corner lot siya. Ito yung red na ito, ito yung parallel dito sa unang street at saka ito naman ay parallel dito sa pangalawang street. Since x and y are the adjacent sides at itong side na ito ay 160, so yung itim na ito ay 160 minus y. Okay? And then, bakit naging 120 minus x itong natitirang part na ito? Dahil ang kabuuan niya ay 120 at ito namang part na ito ay x yung pula. So kaya siya naging 120 minus x. So formulate the equation, a is equal to xy at paano natin kukunin Ang secondary equation, gagamit tayo ng similar triangles. Dahil, ang triangle na ito ay similar sa triangle na ito. So, dahil dyan, 160 minus y, kay okay, ito yon over x, ito yon is equal to y, okay, so kasi nga ang corresponding side niya ay ito, over 120 minus x. Then, by cross multiplication, we have 160 minus y, times the quantity 120 minus x is equal to xy. For the continuation, we have 160. So, i-expand natin tong part na ito. 160 times 120 is 19,200. 160 times negative x is equal to negative 160x. Negative y times 120 is negative 120y. And then, negative y times negative x is plus xy is equal to xy. Cancel yung xy natin, may matitirang 19,200 minus 160x minus 120y is equal to 0. Then, iniwan ko yung negative 120y sa left side, nilipat ko itong dalawang ito. Then, we have negative 19,200 plus 160x, divide both sides by negative 120, then y is equal to 400 minus 4x all over 3. For the third step, express the variable to be optimized in terms of a single variable. Since we have a is equal to x, xy and y is equal to 480 minus 4x over 3, then a is equal to x, pinalitan natin yung y nito. Okay, so nilabas ko lang yung 3 sa denominator, kaya naging 1 third ito, times 480 minus 4x. Then we have a is equal to 1 third times the quantity 480x, x times 480 is 480x minus 4x square. x times negative 4x is negative 4x square. So, bakit ko inilabas yung 1 third para pag differentiate natin mamaya sa step number 4? So, step number 4, differentiate the variable to be optimized. a is equal to 1 third times 480x minus 4x square. Then, derivative of a with respect to x is equal to 1 third Derivative ng 480x ay 480, derivative ng negative 4x square ay negative 8x. 
Then, for the fifth step, equate the derivative to 0 and solve. 480 minus 8x over 3 is equal to 0. Then, 480 minus 8x is equal to 0. 480 is equal to 8x. 60 is equal to x kasi dinivide natin siya both sides. The last step, answer the problem. Since x is equal to 60, then y is equal to 480 minus 4x over 3. Ito yung galing sa ating secondary equation is equal to 480 minus 4 times 60 over 3 by substitution is equal to 240 over 3 is equal to 80. Therefore, the area of the largest rectangular building is 60 times 80 which is equal to 4,800 meters. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Goodbye!